morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, good morning sir. Thank you. Loud is clear. Loud is good. Loud is enough, right? Isn't it? Okay. Um, thank you so much for all those great introductory words. Uh, well done. You did good research, by the way. Uh, okay. As they mentioned, I'm Ganesh Kupala. I'm senior manager. What is GCT? I don't know. I don't know a lot of you. Uh, I know they mentioned GCT. GCT is Global Compliance and Transformation. The whole world is looking at transformation. And you understand the word transformation, right? I'll go into details. But I deal uh, with uh, the world uh, international taxes, basically. Uh, I am uh, based in London uh, from 2016. Uh, as they mentioned, I worked in different organizations. I worked in uh, big four organizations. Uh, how many of you heard of big fours? Okay. All of you have become students, right? Big fours are Deloitte. PwC, KPMG, and EY are called big fours. The, the reason they are called big fours, they are the four biggest financial services organizations in the world. And they have presence across the globe. That's why they call big four, right? They used to be big five before. Uh, after Arthur Anderson, which is then becomes split into Accenture and all those companies, right? And a bunch of them. Then they uh, became big four. It's only big four in the world now. So as I said, it's Deloitte, EY, KPMG, and PwC, and I worked in all of them. Okay. Um, so to start with, I'll, I'll quickly give you my introduction in terms of like you know where I am, and then probably I'll, I'll talk about why I'm here today. Uh, by the reason, uh, I think first of all you need to uh, thank uh, Mr. Shinmugam. We met last night in, in an event. Um, uh, UK Minister, uh, UK Shadow Minister of uh, Employment, uh, Mr. Seem, uh, Ms. Seem, Ms. Seema Malhotra is here. Uh, I, I came along with her. So we, we came here to meet for a business network meeting. And uh, Mr. Shinmugam was there in that meeting. So we happened to meet him there. And then he invited me to come over and talk to you guys. That's the reason I'm here. So we all should thank who? Shinmugam. Okay. Let's give him a round of applause. All right. Uh, while I'm here, uh, I think uh, I, I, don't, I don't want to give a lot of passion, okay? But I, I want to be more practical and learn from you and also listen to your questions and then respond to those questions. But before that, I just want to give a quick journey of my career. As she mentioned already, I started with Deloitte in 2007, right after the college. I studied in Badruka College of Commerce. I don't know how many of you know it. It's one of the top 10 colleges in, in India for commerce. After Sriram College of Commerce, how many of you know Sriram College of Commerce? Okay, okay. Are you shy or you don't want to speak to me? <laughs> okay, so it's Madhuka is one of the finest colleges in South India. Um, that's where I, I graduated from, post graduation from Madhuka College of Commerce. And after that, Deloitte picked me from campus. So I joined Deloitte in 2007 and worked in Deloitte for six plus years. And I've uh, worked in different roles. I started as an associate tax analyst, then moved to an analyst, then moved to a team leader, assistant manager, and became manager. And post that, I moved to Franklin Templeton. Franklin Templeton is a fund manager. How many of you know funds, mutual funds, and all that stuff, right? You have, some of you are banking students here. Who, how many are banking students, by the way? Okay. How, how many become generals? Okay. Become computers? No computer science. Okay. Accounting and finance. Become accounting and finance. Okay. Brilliant. And so the reason I'm here to kind of give you. Uh, so a lot of us think, even when I was a student like you guys, right? So sitting in the classrooms, I was thinking, okay, I'm only doing graduation in BCom. How far can I go? What's my maximum limit, right? Everyone think, all of us will think about that, right? And when you talk about the career options, about what is that I want to do? Do I go become a bank manager? Or do I go, go become an accountant? Or do I go and work for, like, do I become a chartered accountant probably? Or do a CWA, ICCA? There are plenty of other courses, right? So you think about various other things, but that's how I started as well. I was thinking like, you know, what should I do now? And then when I was in post-graduation, it happened to me that my college invited Deloitte, like, like me, somebody else from Deloitte came to our college and spoke to us. And we had a keen interest on taxes. And then I picked up taxes as a career. So the reason I'm here today to talk to you, all of you, to say that, you know, there's a lot of plenty of career options for BCom graduates. So if you are thinking I'm not an engineer, if you are thinking I'm not a doctor, forget about it because I make more money than doctors. I make more money, money than engineers today. But the reason I'm here today is to explain you what, what career choices that you can take, what, what makes you 
uh, to get into those kind of choices, right? I mean, it's not easy to. Uh, I don't want to say that it's difficult, but it, uh, at the same time, I don't want to say it's too, super easy. If you don't work hard, I don't think you'll get there. But if you work hard, I'm sure no one can stop you to get there. Because so, as part of the CSR, I used to work with children of underprivileged, like most of our villages and all that stuff, right? Um, so they wouldn't have communication skills and all. So I used to go to schools and colleges to teach them communication skills and all. And the reason why is because I only studied in Telugu medium all my life. I never studied in English medium. Can you believe it? I never studied English medium. But I've been uh, roaming around the world for the last 15 years. I worked in US for four years. I worked in uh, Middle East, Dubai and Saudi Arabia and all that stuff for four years. I worked in Europe for six years now. It is possible. If it was possible to me, it is possible to you. I am one of those underprivileged children, but I made it happen. If I can do it, you can definitely do it. How you can do it? Now the question is, okay, great, great words, amazing, super speech and all. Ninety percent of the recruiters in this world looks at this. Skills can be taught. We look for attitude. We hire people who can learn things. We don't hire people who know stuff already and thinks that they know everything. We don't hire them. Because the reason there is nobody in this world that knows anything and everything. Do you think everyone knows? Is there anyone that knows everything, including your principal? No. no. So what is important is you are, you are willing. Don't aim for only jobs, guys. That, that's what I want to say. You know, we want more entrepreneurs. We want more people. Okay, I joined a job and I become something else. Maybe, Maybe I'll be a partner tomorrow. Partner is the highest stage in um, any of the big four companies, right? And I'm sure I'll be very, very soon partner, okay? So, but once I reach there, I'm still an employee, right? But there, there are people who create jobs. There are people who create companies. I think you should focus on that area as well. So how does this work? So I want to dissect that, okay? I'll quickly tell you a story. I told you, right, why I wanted you guys to, the reason I'm here is when I, when Mr. Shinukam spoke to me, he said, we are a new new uh, baby, we are still learning and as well. And I loved his statement. He said, nobody to somebody. Uh, government schools, right? That's where I studied. And I studied in a government college. I studied in government schools. I studied in Telugu medium. I never studied English medium. All that stuff. But the moment I got into Badruka, I've seen this world. It's a very difficult place to live because people were scoring very high. People were speaking very good English. How do I do this? Then I started working very hard on me. And I love the quote in your room, ma'am. Your limitation is you. The only thing that can limit you is you. If you want to achieve bigger things, nobody can stop you. Believe me, if you work hard and if you fail, you can come and ask me, I'll pay you every month's salary. There is no way that you'll fail. No way. People will tell you, there is cynical people, there will be negative people around you, they'll say that, you know, sorry. So people will keep on telling you, right? People will come and say, no, nothing will work out. This world is crap. You know, it's a bad world, negative world. No one hires you. Only rich people get this. I'm not rich. It's possible because I worked hard. I can't keep on criticizing the society. It doesn't work that way. The society is for winners. Society is for successful people. Society is not for critical people. The society respects Swaminathan. The society respected Abdul Kalam. The society respected Sundar Pichai, Google CEO today. A boy coming from working at the age of seven, earned for my own studies, studied my own stuff. I had no parents. I was sleeping on streets, literally sleeping on streets. I used to have a meal once a week. I have my childhood friend also here. He can he can watch for me. I used to go to his house for food sometimes. Life is full of opportunities with very few problems. Unfortunately, 99% of this world looks at those few problems and stops them, right? We always talk about problems, problems, problems. But if you just crack that problem and go beyond it, it's full of opportunities. There is so much in this world that we can do. But the only way you can do is you have to cross that bridge of problems. You guys know what's the financial capital of the world? You know where all the financial banks headquarters are in London. You guys know this? London is the financial capital of the world. I wanted to rule the world. That's why I chose London too. I went there and I'm leading the global teams today. 
That's why I wanted to say what is GCD? It's not a general tax role. I'm leading global compliance. I lead 190 countries. Tax practice. Wanted to do it. Right? So I want you guys to do that. Okay? Uh, if I'm here today, I'm not aiming. Um, I'm, I'm not aiming that you know all of you become superstars. I'm not saying that. Okay? Don't get me wrong. Sundar Pichai, what 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 else you need? Example of Sundar Pichai is much bigger than anything, isn't it? Satya Nadella, Sundar Pichai, where where were they? They were here, just next to you. And do you know the value of Sundar Pichai today? He is the highest paid employee of the world. Do you know how much he gets paid? He gets paid more than countries' budgets. You know Alphabet's value today? Alphabet is Google's mother company. Their their budget, as in the, the annual turnover, is bigger than 56 countries. 56 countries' revenue is smaller than one company. And that company is led by a Tamilian. Are you not proud of it? And Microsoft is led by Telugu guy, Satya Nadella. I am very proud of it. I tell that every day to so people sitting next to me. And by the way, KPMG UK is led by Bina Mehta, who is Indian. Deloitte is led by Puneet Ranjan. Deloitte, the whole Deloitte, the global Deloitte CEO is Puneet Ranjan, who is Indian. Shiva Nadar, HCL. What names am I taking? Am I taking anything that you, you don't know? All of those kids were sitting somewhere like you guys only. But they all dreamt big. They thought we want to do big. Even in today's session when I was speaking, I said, I'll become a partner very soon. I don't know. When the way is small, you can only travel so much. When the way, way itself is big, you travel more, you learn more. When you travel more, when you learn more, you earn more. When you earn more, you, earn more, you win more. The hungerness, like, you know, when do you eat more? When you're hungry, isn't it? When your stomach is full, will you eat more? When do you eat more? When you're hungry. When you achieve more. When you have hunger for achievement. When you want to achieve. I want to do this, right? I don't have money, but I want to study only in this college. And at that time, they were charging 10,000. I'm talking about 20 years back. 10,000 per annum. I said, I had no money. Not even one rupee. But I want to study in this college. And he, he was like, are you, are you mad? Why would I give you admission if you don't have money? I said, if I give you a district top, would you give me admission? You believe me, this is exactly what I said. If you want to check, go and check Google. You will see all my YouTube videos. I'll tell you a story now. I played KBC. You guys know KBC, right? Konmanego Karadupati. I was a participant in Konmanego Karadupati. I told the same story there to Nagarjuna as well. Sundar was not golden spoon boy. Satya was not a golden spoon boy. Shiva was not a golden spoon boy. Neither of them. They were all very normal people. Abdul Kalam, the greatest example. He was in this street. He had no food. Rameshwaram is the smallest town then, right? But president of India, missile man of the world. And there's a scientist day on his name. Today, the whole world celebrates scientist day on, on the name of Abdul Kalam. What else he can achieve? But how, how was it possible? Because of his determination. So I went to that college. I have to tell this, okay? I went to this college and said, I, I will do this. So he said, no, no, I can't give you admission. I said, if I give you a district talk, would you give me admission? He was like, are you kidding me? No, I said, no, no, I'll give you district top rank. And I did that. I was a player. In intermediate, I was a gold, gold medalist. I scored district tops. And I've been awarded by Chief Minister of the Andhra Pradesh then. How that happened? That boy, not about today, not this fat, heavy man. But that boy who was 15 year old, determined to do because wisdom was the only equalizer for him. He had no money, right? I had no money. So what, what is that I can sell to the world? My knowledge. Right? So I started selling the knowledge. I started challenging everyone who came in front of me. I said, I'll give you district top. Would you give me rank? Then I went to my graduation. They said, okay, he's a district topper. So let's give him free seat. So then I studied in free for all, whole my life. I never paid anything. But I only studied, after 10th standard, I never studied in government institutions. I studied in all private institutions only, but I paid not even single penny. Instead, they paid me money. Because I was scoring, I was district topper and then I was university topper. I was do, I was doing, I was cracking every exam because I realized this is the only way to win the world. Are you getting my point? You guys understood? If there is a need you have, 
What I generally tell is like you know, even to if you go to a TV shop, ma'am, the boy, the salesperson sitting in the TV shop, will tell you hundred features of the TV. Sound is amazing, LED quality of the picture is amazing, and all that stuff. If a TV which is no life has so many characteristic, me being a man with such a knowledge, how many characters should I have? Don't I sell myself to the world? Should I not? I should, and that's what they did. Do you think Sachin Anandila has become a Microsoft CEO just like that? No. He would have he would have spoken to people and he would have challenged them. I'll show you this. Can you be true to yourself? You don't have to tell the world. Just be honest to yourself. You know your strengths, right? You know your weaknesses. You know the opportunities that are eating you. You know the threats that are against you. You do the SWOT analysis on you. Did you guys do that? I don't know. Do you guys you guys do this in the course schools? I think they should be doing it. If you're not done yet. Go back home, sit, and do one thing. Okay. If your name is Ganesh, start the paper with the name Ganesh. Start writing what's Ganesh. Forget about Ganesh is you. Okay. Forget about that. Just start analyzing Ganesh. What's Ganesh's strength? Ganesh has a very good voice. Ganesh can communicate well. Ganesh has no fear. Ganesh can start in front of two hundred people. Can deliver speech. Start, start writing. Then weaknesses. Ganesh cannot run hundred meters in ten seconds. I cannot. I accept it. What, what's wrong? Don't, don't bring your egos into life. I cannot. I cannot walk like you. I'm heavy. I cannot. I cannot run like you. I'm, I'm happy to accept in front of two hundred people. I'm heavy. So accept it. There's nothing wrong. That's the second thing. Okay. Write about your strengths. Write about your weaknesses. Understand yourself. Whole world is watching you. If you don't watch yourself, you will be a loser. So, the problem of this world is we don't know our, about ourselves. We talk about everyone else. Only smart people ask for help. Only dumb people be shy. If you are shy, don't get me wrong, okay? Don't criticize me. Don't troll me afterwards. But if you are shy and if you are not opening up yourself, if you are not asking for help, how would the other person know that you need help? We are all not astrologers, right? I don't know your your biography. I don't know about anything. If you come and ask me while I'm here, if somebody comes and asks me, can I get your email ID or can I ask you about this professional question or something else? Then I probably will be able to help you. But if you hide in a shell and don't want to open up, how how would the world know about you, right? So the third and final ask from me to you, I don't know if you're making note of this. Is please, please, please come out of that shell. The frogs in the well, they don't come up. Even if one tries to come up, no, it will stop. The reminding of them will keep on dragging them down. And you will find such kind of people everywhere in your life. Okay. When I when I completed my plus two and I said I'll go and do this, my class used to be sixty people. Almost fifty nine of them said you can't do it. Believe me, you can't do it. That's what they told me. No, 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 you can't do it. You are a Telugu medium student. You, and that's exactly what I want you to do. Come back and give the reply with your work, not with your words. A lot of our leaders say that, right? I don't know how you say it in Tamil, but baato se kuch nahi hoga. Like it's not about words. It's about actions. Once you, once your action speaks, no, they speak much, much louder than your words. So do that. So come out of shells. Work hard, determine. We will achieve. And do, if you are not achieving, I, I, as I told you, I'll give you a writing in hundred, hundred rupees bond paper. If anyone can challenge me and come back and say, you know what, Mr. Ganesh, on second of August, you came to our college and said, if you work hard, you will be successful. You are crap. I worked hard. I was not successful. If you come and tell me, I'll pay you on from that day to whole life. I'll pay you salary. But can you be true to yourself? When you say I worked hard, what do you mean by working hard? Do you know what is working hard? Working hard means version two of yourself every day. I'll stop with this. This is my last statement. Version two of yourself. Did you get that? What is version two? You you know iPhones? iPhone releases versions, different versions, right? One, two, three. It's fourteen Pro now, is it? Do you think the every version is similar? Fourteen Pro is equal to fourteen. Is it? No, right. It is advanced. Similarly, every individual should be a different version every day. 
if it is even more possible for you guys okay thank you so much sir for your words of wisdom i'm sure everyone is willing to take challenges in their life so if anyone is interested in asking questions please step forward the question is why why should i why did i choose tax when did i think that i can choose tax okay uh i chose uh, tax as a career option when uh, i realized that tax is the field that nobody can avoid in this world go to any country in this world okay and uh, when i realized uh, when i was doing my master of commerce so i was going through various subjects okay and i wanted to kind of pick up a career which which excites me every day okay when you choose a career make sure that you you are loving that career otherwise it's, it's, it's very difficult uh, Path to go because if you don't like something, you will not be super successful. I love taxes. Believe me, I love taxes. You might be hearing this for the first time, but I love taxes because tax keeps on changing, right? In India also, you have seen the tax rate changes. GST comes in, VAT comes in, something else comes in. It's always changing world. The only place that can be such changing, I thought, in the my stream. I'm not saying every stream. My stream of education, tax is the only place. Where that can be super super dynamic. So don't work hard, work smart only. But that's how I choose my path, and it's it's a beautiful career. If you if you none of you have thought about tax as a career, right? I'm telling you, tax are very very highly paid profession. I don't know if you know this. Even in India, if you track any of GST CST officers are very well paid. Okay, and where and everybody gives respect to you. If you're a tax man, even chief minister stands and says hello to you. No, really, that is true. Because the only person who, who the whole world is scared of is tax person, and I wanted to be that person. That's why I chose uh, tax as a career. So, if you haven't thought about tax as a career, please do. Please do think about it because the very good opportunities across the world. Not only in India. Okay, I'm not talking about India. Old world has brilliant tax opportunities because even countries like UAE, you know Dubai, right? Where there were no taxes before, even UAE is introducing tax. UAE has introduced corporate tax now from 2023. So if you if you are a budding like who's a, how many third year students here? Third year. Oh, most of you are third year. Okay, brilliant. So if you haven't thought about tax as a career, immediately look into that. Maybe I mean I don't I'm not pushing you. Okay, I'm not being that parent that everyone you should study engineering only. I'm not saying that. Okay, but I'm saying look look into that as one also as an option. And finance and tax are very very highly paid. Skill sets in the world. People will come back and tell you. We think that doctors are highly paid. That's not true. That's not actually true. Engineers are highly paid. That's not true. London School of Economics. I don't know how many of you heard. How many of you know London School of Economics? LSE, London School of Economics, Imperial College of London, Harvard, Oxford. Okay. Most of these universities, if you go and study their statistics, the highest paid departments. Or economics, commerce, tax. Good morning, sir. Hi, sir. Actually, I am also working under a KPMG associate partner. Oh. So I am CA final student doing my article sheet, and uh, I work in financial due diligence in mergers and acquisitions. Brilliant. So I've done my CMA US also. I thought of getting into management consulting. Okay. And after uh, I saw a journal, Wall Street of Journal, that's a boom in US tax. True. So every big four is going to double his workforce in India also. So most of this uh, are outsourced in India. So even I am doing my annual exam also. I'm going to appear in November examination. Brilliant. See, is there's already a very good, good job done. So I thought of uh, moving into. Uh, in the fall of 2025, and the one uh, disadvantage is uh, only I can get a three years OPT if I do a master's in US, and I'm thought of doing in London, and I also have a, a partnership with the BDO Alliance, which is top five in big three, one of the one century. So if I join KPMGTS in Bangalore, will they give me a direct H1B visa sponsorship? No, 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 they won't. Okay. okay, so, so KPMG does give H1s, KPMG, KPMG uh, does give visas, but it doesn't happen based on your education. Because you're a year, they don't give you visa. They give you visa because of your work. If you're working very well in the organization, there is an opportunity in US 
if you appear for the right opportunity and if they select you i, I told you right deloitte sent, sent me to us within one and a half years of time i'm talking about 15 years back where there was no ea and all and us market was looked completely different i was us tax person for la- first 10 years then i moved to international right so first uh, those days were very difficult to get us you know what i'm talking about so today itself it's very difficult but then it was even more difficult but it worked for me because i used to work very very hard and i created the opportunity myself so there used to be old saying right you know opportunity knocks your door open it it comes to you you know what i'm saying right that's old okay my saying will be don't have the doors let your doors be open only why the hell you need doors let the opportunities come and flow whatever is you like you pick it up opportunities coming knocking you opening the door and all it both time like you know it takes a lot of time instead let's not have the doors no let's be open let's look for the opportunities or whatever comes in like you know you're going and sitting in a classroom and you see uh, somebody artificial intelligence speaking thompson writers for example or is from uh, one of the chief ministers of south india i think he's here um, he told the world is 90% good people and 10% bad people unfortunately we listen to the 10% and think the whole world is bad it's an amazing saying actually because we we kept on listening to bad things negative stuff we think that everything is bad which is not true your bosses are good people okay don't think that they are bad people especially if i am your boss i'll be very good person okay <laughs> if you're joining my company super okay so what i'm saying is have those conversations with the networks don't burn the bridges this is very very important because what happens is once we leave a one company we leave we go to the other company you know where the call goes it goes to the previous company and talks about your conduct they talk about your uh, the reason for you leaving all that stuff and this is called background checks they do all the background checks and once they complete the background checks if you don't pass the background checks they don't even tell you why you failed the background checks but they reject your offer you think your previous company cannot do anything but your previous company can do a lot of good things i'm not so talking about negative okay a lot of good things if your previous manager said okay he's a brilliant guy they will hire you happily right so it's very important to kind of maintain maintain that relationship uh, it's, it's a very good question in the career perspective right don't don't burn bridges remember this word okay never burn your bridges very good employee right and you are having a good relationship with your boss if the boss or manager says no you cannot leave the organization what will you do in it uh, i'll ask him to promote me oh one <laughs> yes <laughs> that is what see these are all the uh, questions on behalf of our students yeah so, so a lot of times you know why the changes happen Deloitte, I was a US tax person. I left Deloitte, joined Franklin Templeton as a fund tax supervisor, which is which has nothing to do with my previous job. When I left Franklin Templeton as a fund tax supervisor, I joined Sun Edison in Chennai as a mergers and acquisitions specialist, which has nothing to do with fund tax. I left Sun Edison and joined Shell Group, Shell Petroleum, as a UK tax expert. I never did UK taxes in my whole life. but i joined uk tax team okay then i left shell and went to middle sorry ey for um, uh, what is called uh, tfo uh, tax and finance operating model uh, nlst which is which has nothing to do with my previous jobs then i left ey and moved to middle east in saudi arabia i never did middle east taxes then i left middle east and joined uk now did you see my journey have you seen the similarities anywhere but i've always progressed in my career they hired me in a different role which i have never done why do you think they would have hired me just think about it people never see whether you have that skill or not people always see whether you can learn that skill or not that's the interviewing technique in that 45 minutes i sell myself like the finest tv of the world i tell I'm a lady. I'm I'm digital uh, whatever. Yeah, I have the finest sound in the world. I tell, I show them that this is what me. Here is my story. And once I tell that story, if that story is applicable and you know pleasing to the audience who is the interviewer, he hires me. If my story is not pleasing to the interviewer, he won't hire me. Simple, very simple. It is nothing else, nothing more, nothing less. 
especially corporates i'm telling you corporate world is super super fair they they don't hire you because you came from someone they don't hire you because of whatever reasons and 100% they don't hire you because of your scores they, they don't even care about your scores believe me they don't care about your scores you might get entry because of your scores okay you might clear your written test because of your scores but they don't, they don't hire you because of your scores i have myself rejected so many people who who were state toppers i rejected believe me it was it happened but i'm not saying they're bad they were not good for that job so it's about right job right person right fit you have to be there in the right place for the right opportunity at the right time if you don't you know present yourself honestly interview will interview will easily understand if you start boosting something else now which is not true they know it very well you might be thinking that i'm smart i'm telling good things but they would know how to judge you so my my only request to you is be honest if you don't know something people ask you something you don't know please stand up and say please sorry i don't know and they'll appreciate you okay but what i what i see a lot of times them now is i ask about some some philosophy in accounting okay they start telling me about story which is no way related to that okay oh no what happens so this that, that that i like okay stop what how do you calculate depreciation that's my question and they will be like you know is it value is it no 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 stop please stop how do you calculate depreciation that's my question so i'm just as example i'm telling if you don't know the answer you if you come back and say sorry sir i don't know the answer we will be we will be happy to teach you instead of telling the wrong answers so be honest is my my humble request to you especially third years third years third years lift your hands all of you are going to be in the market right job market very soon yes are you audible okay. um i am all stuck i could also find out from the faces of students that they are also all stuck am i right and uh, it was awesome a yeah, man who we have witnessed at a distance we call them as swayambhu swayam swayambhu is uh, self made man isn't it you have seen him at a distance i am very happy to see him very close to us sir thank you so much for being here and first i should thank you so much for giving such a wonderful like that's why i said like wherever he goes he never thinks for himself but secondly he will be looking for who will be the best person for our college who will be helping us and who will be the spark and uh, he's just uh, found a great find for us and one dear students i would like to tell you few things what i have like observed from yesterday night uh, secretary sir gave the number yesterday night from yesterday night from 9 o'clock only we got to uh, know each other one thing i wanted to tell you one is of course was talking about the hard work he was talking about the positivity i think we can understand the positivity behind the, the way he speaks have never really rare, rare very very rare people we have come across in our life and uh, to be so positive at such a young age and beyond that one whenever we converse in the phone he was like now if i start talking he will stop talking he will listen i have heard somewhere and i have read somewhere that those who listen are the successful person very long back i have just uh, read and somebody has told me i am just first i am witnessing whenever just i start up sometimes i uh, mean like i wanted to say uh, when he is conversing and i wanted to share some point immediately he stops he listen to us me then only he continues sir really we are amazed to see such a wonderful person we are happy to acquaint him but i assure you there are lot more ganesh here and the girls ganesh because it's a male doesn't mean the girls are also there lot more students are sitting there and i wonder like all of the students should also listen to you but uh, for our space we will share this to all the link to the students also so many people will come up definitely i'm sure i wanted to see you all succeed like uh, mr ganesh sir how he has made his uh, but uh, thanks to our college that they have shown all this because i don't know whether when he studied his college whether he had mentor like this we do not know sir thanks for being here my pleasure thanks so much Thank you very big applause for you. I take this opportunity to propose the vote of thanks for this session. 
I would like to thank the chief guest, Mr. Ganesh Kupala, sir, for taking out his precious time and coming to our college and enlightening the students community. I would like to thank our respected secretary, sir, Mr. A V M K Shanmugam, sir, for giving us the opportunity to welcome, sir, and giving us the wonderful information. I would like to thank our respected Bilawar principal, ma'am, Dr. N Bhuma, ma'am. I take this opportunity to thank all the faculty members and the students. Thank you all, and have a wonderful day ahead.